You already know what it is. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Kanye West, you up the bat. It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. The key is to be free in 2023. The key is to be free in 2023. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos. But we back. Another Kanye West joint, man. Now we got Kanye West exposes Kim Kardashian for selling her soul to Balenciaga. Now y'all know the last Kanye joint I did where he was talking about his mom was sacrificed. So Kanye been on some other sh lately. Let's go ahead and get into it. Fire Squad. What's popping? Let's get it. Kanye West is breaking his silence on the Balenciaga scandal and exposing his ex-wife, Kim Kardashian, for selling her soul to the controversial fashion house. Oh, like, shit. Is it Christ-like or is it not Christ-like? Kim is currently facing major backlash over her response to Balenciaga's disgusting ad campaign featuring children. And it looks like Kim's Crazy. disturbing connection to Balenciaga runs deeper than we thought. So what exactly did Kanye reveal about Kim selling her soul to Balenciaga? Uh -huh a lot of imagery that's been coming out and things that I'll tell, things I, I told Kim this yesterday, I said, look, any form of perversion is bad in God's eyes. Any mm -hmm. form of pornography, like it- You've probably heard by now that the luxury fashion house Balenciaga is under fire because of their extremely inappropriate ad campaigns featuring children and disturbing symbolism. Crazy. And before we get into all that, you should keep in mind that Balenciaga recently experienced a huge revival after its creative director and Kim Kardashian's close friend, Demna staged Balenciaga's first couture show since 1968. Damn. Today, Balenciaga Haute Couture, a document for fashion history. Demna Vasalia at work. The first haute couture show from the house of Balenciaga since February 1968. This is no ordinary fashion show. Demna was previously known mainly in the context of streetwear, but after his haute couture collection got a stamp of approval from Hollywood A-listers, suddenly Balenciaga replaced Gucci as the most popular celebrity brand. Wow. And it was Kim Kardashian who single-handedly did more than anyone else to make Balenciaga the new IT brand. Interestingly, Kim's love affair with Balenciaga coincided with her separation from Kanye, and mm. as soon as she filed the divorce papers, she aggressively started promoting Balenciaga. Wow. However, after Balenciaga Balenciaga recently found itself in the middle of a shocking scandal involving children and occult imagery. Fans expected Kim, who is a mom of four, to make a stand and immediately cut ties with Balenciaga. Right. But Kim's response to the Balenciaga controversy was not just disappointing but downright disturbing. And it might have had something to do with Kanye's recent comments about Hollywood sacrifices and celebrities who sell their souls for fame. But before we get into Kim's reaction, here's a quick recap of all the dark and twisted things Balenciaga got exposed for. It all started in early November when Balenciaga shared a series of very creepy photos taken for their new gift shop ad campaign. The photos featured young children posing with teddy bears dressed in bondage and surrounded by shocking props. Some of the disturbing props included a child's drawing of the devil and a roll of yellow caution tape that misspelled the word Balenciaga to show the word Ball, which is the name of a fertility demon and one of the what? princes of hell. By the way, back in March, Kim wore a bizarre outfit made entirely of the same Balenciaga yellow tape. And also, take a look at this recent clip from the Kardashians on Hulu, with Kim making fun of Kris Jenner for pronouncing Balenciaga and repeatedly saying the word ball. No, but tell say, say Balenciaga. <laughs> she goes Balenciaga. Ball. Balenciaga. I'm a baller. But we're just scratching the surface here. This is weird. If you thought the teddy bear photo shoot was creepy, wait till you see what Balenciaga put in another recent campaign they did for their collaboration with Adidas. One photo from the campaign showed a handbag from the collection on top of a pile of documents, and one document was purposely left poorly hidden. When you zoom in on this particular document, you will see that the text references the 2008 Supreme Court case United States versus Williams. Now, in case you're wondering what's so special about this court case, here's a brief explanation from a lawyer. U.S. versus Michael Williams. Michael was in a chat room under the name of Lisa in Miami. He then started up a conversation with another individual who was actually a Secret Service agent, where he ultimately sent a link containing seven photos of child pornography. 
from but we're still not done and it gets creepier from what? here after balencia's recent campaign went viral for all the wrong reasons internet sleuths discovered a bunch of new disturbing details about people working for balenciaga one of these people is russian-born stylist lada vakova who has been the chief stylist for balenciaga since 2014. Hey, lada no. recently locked her instagram profile and deleted over 200 photos many of which featured children and all kinds of dark and creepy what the imagery. hell is this however fans managed to take screenshots of some of the photos from Lada's Instagram before she locked it. And before we show you the photos, please keep in mind that some of them are extremely creepy. Uh -huh. Now, if you take a closer look at the comment section of this creepy photo from Lada's Instagram, you will notice a comment from Marc Jacobs, another one of Kim Kardashian's favorite designers, who wrote, so good. Many fans are now speculating that Lada was involved in Valencia's recent campaign because the aesthetic of the campaign matches the photos Lada shares on her Instagram. However, it just gets worse the more you look into it. For what example, take a look at the frame diploma behind the model in this photo from the Balenciaga and Adidas ad campaign. The diploma shows the name John Philip Fisher, and this happens to be the name of an 80-year-old man who was convicted in 2018 on seven charges of misconduct against his granddaughter. And Bro, what the fuck is going on? What is going on, bro? These companies is crazy. None of this stuff is coincidence. None of this stuff is coincidence. And then there's another creepy detail lurking in the background of a different photo from this campaign. When you zoom in on the stack of books on the table behind the woman, you'll notice that one of the books is by Michael Bormans. Bormans is a Belgian painter and filmmaker whose surreal works frequently feature children and bizarre rituals. One of Bormans' recent painting series is called Fire from the Sun, and here's how the publisher of the book containing these paintings describes them on their official website. Fire from the Sun highlights Michael Bormans' new work, which features toddlers engaged in playful but mysterious acts with sinister overtones and insinuations of and now take a look at some of Borman's paintings from this collection and then compare them to the Balenciaga outfits Kim Kardashian and her children recently wore. There are simply too many coincidences when it comes to this whole Hell Balenciaga nah. situation. And this is exactly why fans wanted Kim to speak up and cut ties with the brand. But instead of immediately condemning Balenciaga, Kim stayed silent for almost a week. And even after Balenciaga removed their disgusting campaign, Kim continued sharing selfies dressed head to toe in Balenciaga and Adidas. And wow. then finally, after getting pressured by fans to say something, Kim decided to address the controversy on Twitter. However, instead of cutting ties with Balenciaga, Kim said she is currently reevaluating her relationship with the brand Hell and basing nah. it off their willingness to accept accountability for something that should have never happened to begin with. No. And though Kim claimed she was disgusted and outraged by the recent Balenciaga campaigns, she also praised the fashion house for apologizing and removing the controversial photos. In speaking with them, I believe they understand the seriousness of the issue and will take the necessary measures for this to never happen again, Kim added. But this was not the response fans wanted to hear from Kim. Of and course. the fact that she said that she would reevaluate her relationship with Balenciaga got a lot of people talking about Kim putting profit above everything else and selling her soul for money and mm. fame. One fan responded to Kim's tweet saying, Don't act innocent. You know fine and well what they have been up to and you fully support it. I wouldn't be surprised if you sold your kids' souls to them. Whoa. Anyone who is outraged by these wouldn't be reevaluating their relationship. It would end there and then. But it's not just the fans who are saying this. Kanye also recently addressed the Balenciaga controversy and said the reason celebrities are staying silent on this is because they are controlled. Had a conversation about the moral compass uh, related to uh, uh, a lot of imagery that's been coming out and things that I'll tell, things I, I told Kim this yesterday, I said, look, any form of perversion is bad in God's eyes. Any form Fetch. of pornography, like it tears apart families. It's used to tear families apart. Mm. Kanye then seemingly took a swipe at Kim, saying that the disturbing imagery like the things we saw in the Balenciaga campaigns is used on purpose to destroy morals and break up families. Mm. So in Hollywood, people say, okay, this is right, but this is wrong. It's all wrong in God's eyes. And that's where we have to stand up and raise our standards. But what is that's your real. opinion on Kim's relationship with Balenciaga? Were you surprised by her response? Did she really sell her soul for money and fame? Leave your comments down below. And if you crazy. thought this video was shocking, make sure you don't miss out on this next one. All right, that was Kanye West exposes Kim Kardashian for selling her soul to Balenciaga. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think.
all that shit is creepy and weird as hell for them to have certain things and props and stuff like that in the pictures and having books and having certain people names and court cases and stuff like that it's uh, and some of the imagery is fucking wild extremely disturbing extremely disturbing man y'all let me know in the comments below man till next time self-love and positivity fire squad i got you and you know it Hey!